name is Armin Morin, and I am here with Gianni. Gianni was so kind enough to actually invite me on to this presentation this evening. And the reason is because several different things. Number one, what I want to do is I want to share with you guys something that we are doing, something that we have done, and something that I think you guys are going to want to know about because we've been doing some really cool things regarding Facebook. We've been doing some really cool things, I should say YouTube, and some really cool things regarding some ways to generate traffic to anything that you actually have out there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to share with you guys some things and we're going to actually do some things live on here right now. But also uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, go ahead and we're going to uh, share with you again something that we're doing as well too, where you can get some really great information about something brand new that's coming up. And I just want to share with you guys what that is right now. Sound good? Yes. Now, some of you may actually know Gareth. Am I right, Gianni? Everyone knows Gareth on this yeah, or yes? Yeah. Yes, they love Gareth. Awesome. <laughs> so a lot of you know my good friend Gareth Owens and Gareth has been uh, a friend of mine for many, many, many years, over a decade. We've been knowing each other for a long time, but what's happening is that Gareth is actually speaking at an event that I'm putting on uh, called Complete Seminar. And what happens is, is that Gareth is actually speaking at this event along with many, many other people. And I'm gonna tell you more about that in a little bit, but here's what we're doing right now. Now, at, before we jump into everything else, I just wanna get this out of the way. Sound good? So what we're doing is we're actually giving away free tickets because of Gareth and Gianni. Now, and now again, this is something that's pretty awesome because normally we're selling these between 250, 500, and even $1,000 for these tickets. It's in Las Vegas. And if you go to completeseminar.com slash, and let me just verify this for you guys just for a second here. Uh, completeseminar.com slash, I wanna make sure that we're giving you guys the right one. And let's just make sure. Special. So if you go to completeseminar.com slash special, uh, when you get a chance, you can actually get more details on that. And we've got some amazing people that are going to be speaking there. We got seven time Olympic gold medalist, Shannon Miller. We've got uh, coach Ken Carter, the man they made the movie about. We've got uh, Mari Smith, the queen of Facebook, a friend of mine, John Lee. He has, uh, he's going to be teaching people how to make $10,000 a month on Facebook. Another friend of mine, Vincent Tan. We've got Jason Katzenbach. You guys may have heard of him. He actually does, uh, the uh, amazing.com. He's one of the founders there. We've got Laura Langmeyer, Matt Basic, and my friend Gareth Owen, as well as myself. That's all always going to be there. But if you go to completeseminar.com slash special, uh, and again, uh, we're going to give you a free tickets to actually come to this event. Now, again, just write down that website and I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Fair enough. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, what we're going to talk about today is simply this. We have this special technique. In fact, uh, it's a great in segue because Gareth and I actually developed this technique. Gareth actually came up with this idea about how to rank a video up on YouTube. And what I discovered was that you could actually make this a little bit better along the way. So what this is, it's a strategy. Now think about what many of you are actually doing right now to drive traffic to your products to your websites, to anything that you're actually having to do. And how do you normally go about getting traffic? Well, there's only a few different ways that you can generate traffic, am I right? Number one, we can buy the traffic, of course. We can run Facebook ads, we can run Google ads, Bing ads, uh, we can run any kind of ad that you could possibly imagine, and that's always pretty good. But at the same time, what we can do is we can do a few other things as well too. We can try to get free traffic and free traffic is always good, meaning search engine optimization and that's good, except sometimes that works instantly and sometimes that doesn't work at all. But now there's another method that we discovered. And what that is, is actually taking advantage and what I call piggyback traffic. Now, again, bear with me for a moment. Piggyback traffic. Now, what is piggyback traffic? It's very simple. Piggyback traffic is where you can actually utilize another source of traffic, meaning something like YouTube, which is already getting traffic, and then divert that traffic utilizing special techniques to wherever that you actually want to utilize. Now, 
what we're going to do is we're actually going to do some demonstrations and I'm actually going to teach you this particular strategy, but we're also going to try to do it live right in front of you, which means we're going to actually switch over to my computer. We're actually going to utilize uh, my screen. Uh, we're actually going to pick a keyword phrase of something that we might want to rank for. And then we're going to make a video real quick. And then we're going to take that video, post it up to YouTube. But here's the idea. We're going to try to get the number one video on YouTube without any kind of backlinks, without having to go live on YouTube. And we're going to try to do it all in all in 30 seconds. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking it's impossible. You're thinking I must be doing something crazy or something special. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to try to show this. Now, there's always, always that chance whenever that you're going live with anything that something could go wrong. Well, I'm here to tell you that chances are it may go wrong. There's something could go wrong in front of us. We're going to try and make that not happen. But this technique, I'm going to explain it to you in detail. And we're going to walk you through. There's no tricks. I just want to tell everyone right now, this is a straightforward strategy that I've been using, my students have been having, uh, utilizing as well, too, for now six years. Now, let me give you an example of one of my students. One of my students is using this technique. The first year that he started utilizing this technique, he increased his business by a million dollars. The second year that my student utilized this technique, he increased his business by two million. The third year, his, now, his business now does $3.7 million a year. And how, what kind of business does he do? It's not a very exciting one. It's actually a business where he paints uh, industrial warehouses, basically, inside of like Walmarts, inside of big industrial floors. He does floors inside of warehouses. But he was spending between seventy dollars to $80,000 a month uh, just in advertising. Well, within the first few months, he stopped doing that at all. Uh, and then he just started utilizing this one technique in order to generate traffic to his websites, to his opt-in pages, where he could actually get the lead. Now, last year, he actually had something strange happen to him. And that was he started generating too many leads. He was at first going to throw away these leads. But what I did is I convinced him that he could actually take this and actually do something else with this. And he started selling the leads. So he actually started selling the leads to a US company. He's in Toronto, Canada. And with this US company started to do is this US company actually did something kind of crazy. Um, they actually did uh, $8 million worth of sales in the first six month. And his deal with this US company was that what you'll do is you'll pay me 10% of whatever sales that you generate with these leads. So for doing nothing in six months, he actually started generating uh, $800,000 just from the first six months of sending leads to this company. Now he has this going on in six different locations in the United States. So I'm kind of cool, yeah. Well, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch over and you guys are gonna have to forgive me for a little bit. And the reason is, is that we're going to uh, switch over our website. And the problem that I have is that I am not very familiar with this. So what we're going to do is we're, we got, here we go, right here. <laughs> we ha I actually, I'll tell you guys what was going on. I actually had to figure out that which button I had to push because I don't use Zoom that often. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Zoom. We're going to share my screen here. Uh, so this works a little bit good. And we're going to go to YouTube, okay? And uh, what we're going to do, is the first thing that we need to do before even we go to YouTube. Um, let's think of a, a product. Let's think of a product that we could actually uh, create a website for. Now, again, I don't have any pre-planned strategy for you guys, meaning I don't have a pre-planned product. This isn't the whole thing. I want to make this as transparent as possible so you can actually start utilizing this. So I know Gianni, you're, you're still listening to me. Yes. Can be, can be like a e-commerce maybe or Something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's do that. Um, Jenny, do you have a website or something we could use? Or a product that you might want? Uh, or a student's product? How's that? Let's see. Any student's product? Any website that you guys want to share? Let's see. What, is, what do you need from them? 
Uh, what we want is we want the, I want the name of a product that we would like to uh, create this for. So we've got, uh, let's just pull this up. We have, a, let me pull up the chat here. Someone said Java Zoo, uh, some, some website here, Java Zoo. Okay. So, and, and there's a lot of products there. It's an e-commerce store basically. And there is product. Okay. So let's just, let's just, let's pull up this and uh, we're just going to kind of take a look at the, all their products. Okay. So, um, so there's all these different products. So, um, Like a GPS I don't know. Watch. There's a GPS watch, he said, maybe. There's a GPS watch on here. So let's, let's do a search. Let's type in GPS, uh, GPS watch. Okay. Uh, that one, yeah. Okay. So here's one right here. It says kids, seniors, uh, GPS smartwatch. Okay. So that's the phrase. So would everyone think that in this particular case, um, if we typed in seniors, GPS tracker, smartwatch, that's what he'd probably want to rank for, considering that that is the title of his page, that is the title of the category for this particular product, and that is the actual title of the product itself. So that would be a good term. So now let's just do something to show to you that we've not done anything ahead of this. First of all, we're going to just search for this in Google, okay? That's going to be the first thing. So if we uh, do a search uh, on Google, let's go to Google. You know, you're under pressure, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, this is either going to work or it's not going to work. So we're going to go to Google. Oh, man, it just keep, it keeps on switching. Well, in Bing, it's, it's going to Bing. Nothing showing up in Bing, of course, for this. Uh, not even his website. Okay. So let's go, to, let's go to Google. So when I went to Google, it went to Bing for whatever reason. So there we go. So we're going to search for this in Google. And of course, what we have is we have, um, we have this right here. You can see we don't have any videos showing for us there at all in any way, shape or form. Um, there's Amazon, there's smartwatches. We don't see this particular website anywhere. So anything that we can do, it's going to be better than what he has now. If we go to YouTube and we type this in, um, you can see that, again, we're nowhere to be found in any way, shape, or form for that particular keyword phrase. Um, now, again, nothing, nothing there. So what we're going to do is first we're going to go here and we're going to make a video. Now, um, I'm actually on a computer that I don't actually have. I, can see um, I don't even think I have any recording software on here because um, this is my computer that I usually do my live streaming on. So actually I do, there it is. So I have Camtasia. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a short video. Now, again, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, with this video, uh, I uh, don't know anything about this product. So I'm just gonna make it up. Okay, okay. But I can see you the so what we're gonna do is click start. I'm gonna use Camtasia here and I'm gonna click start. Okay, I'm just recording the screen for a moment. Hi, my name is Armin Moore, and thank you so much for finding out more information about our Seniors GPS Tracker Smartwatch. As you can see on the screen right now, there are 23 sold in the last 24 hours. If you want a kids slash seniors GPS Tracker Smartwatch, then what I need you to do is click the link underneath this video, and you'll get all the details about how to get our Seniors GPS Smartwatch Tracker Smartwatch in just a few short minutes. So don't wait. Click the link under this video to go ahead and get your senior GPS smartwatch right now. So again, it's not a great recording, but I think you guys kind of get the idea. Yes. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the beginning part of this. And again, all I'm using is I'm using Camtasia. And uh, we're going to drag that over to the front and then we're going to drag this over to the back. So here's rule number one. Um, rule number one, uh, and again, I'm just going to put down the volume on this because we're using the uh, volume that is actually on my uh, my uh, computer, which the only mic that I have connected to this computer is the uh, microphone that's built in. So again, it's nothing special. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to share it on our local file. Here's the first rule. You ready? Whatever that you want to uh, name this, whatever you want to rank for, we want to name the video the exact same thing, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to name this. Now I'm going to retype this because the letter is all on this page. So let's do a timeout. You guys ready for a second? So uh, let's switch over to me for a moment. And um, hold on. There you go. So let's um, do this. How do I how do I switch back to me? Uh, here we go. I'm going to switch back. Okay. Just a moment. I got it. Okay. So we should be able to see me again. Is that correct? Yes, we can see you. So here is, I want you guys to time out for a second. Okay. The reason why I switched back to me is because I have something extremely important. When we're doing this, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we rank properly. Now, the number one rule that we found out over the years and through our testing is that Google treats uh, capital letters different than it does lowercase. If you do everything in lowercase when you're making a video, you'll rank for capital and lowercase. But if we only do capital letters, what will happen is Google will actually rank it differently. So therefore, on his website, if we notice that the title of his page, the headline that he has uh, for the title is actually all in capital letters. That's not good. And the reason is because Google treats that differently. So you will actually won't rank as high if your title is all in capital letters. So therefore, just capitalize the first letter of each word at most, but don't do anything more than that because Google will treat it differently and therefore you won't rank as high. Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. So this is very, very important for us to understand. So when we go to rank this, what we're going to do to maximum ranking on a YouTube video, we want to make sure that we do it all in lowercase letters. Okay. So I want to make point that out because that's a, a big mistake that a lot of people are making. So let's go back over to our, uh, our website here. Um, so we've got this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name this video, uh, again, Senior GPS Tracker Smartwatch. So I'm gonna name this all lowercase, Senior GPS Tracker dash Smart dash Watch. Okay. And we're just going to name it. That's the title of it. We're going to put it right to our uh, downloads and we're going to export that. Okay. So now again, I chose the word senior. Now we could have went with kids slash seniors. Uh, and again, this is seniors. Okay. So for our video, it won't really matter too much, but uh, let's uh, actually, let's do that. Let's actually change it to seniors uh, because I think it will be just a little bit better. Okay, so there's our video, it's right there. Now we're just gonna upload this to my uh, YouTube account, Seniors GPS Tracker Smart Watch. So that looks all good. So I'm happy with that. So let's go over and let's uh, make sure that we are sharing the right screen. So we're gonna switch over to our browser and we're gonna click upload. Now this is my, again, my personal account, nothing special about this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this and we stored it in our downloads and we're uploading it. So I'm gonna get rid of everything else that I have in here. Now, I'm gonna show you the most simple thing that you could possibly do. The first thing is as the video is loading, as soon as you possibly can, grab the keyword phrase, which is right here, right? And we're gonna paste it in the description. We're gonna paste it in the tags and we're gonna paste it over here to the right-hand side uh, over here in this area. And we're gonna paste it in four places. That's the first piece. The second thing is we're gonna take that URL that we want to rank and we're just gonna come over here. We're gonna copy that. And um, hold on just a moment. There we go. And we're gonna put the URL next. And now here's the phrase in the description. It's always the same for me. If you want to 
let's just copy this again. If you want to get more information, if you, I'm sorry, if you want, if you are looking for a Seniors GPS smartwatch, then watch this video to learn everything there is to know about a seniors GPS marker smartwatch, GPS tracker smartwatch, okay? So that's it. Now, the tags down here. This is where the tags are. So we've got five words in our keyword phrase. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the first word, which is seniors GPS marker track smartwatch. And then we're gonna go to the end and we're gonna put comma and it's seniors GPS marker uh, tracker smart, I should say. And then what we're gonna do is we, that means we took off the last word. Now we're gonna take off the last two words and it's seniors GPS tracker. And so the next phrase would be seniors GPS. Okay, so again, we removed one word each time that we did this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse that from the front. So which means this time we're gonna take off the first word. So we're only left with GPS tracker smartwatch, right? And we're gonna paste this again. And this time we're gonna take off GPS and seniors. So we had done with tracker smartwatch. And then that means the next keyword phrase we're gonna have is smart watch. And then the next phrases that we're gonna have is each word individually. Seniors, GPS, tracker, smart, watch. Okay, now there's one thing that we're gonna add here. This is something brand new that I've started adding and it's hashtags. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put hashtag smartwatch, hash, uh, then we're gonna put hashtag seniors, and then we're gonna put, and again, with, a, with, with this, you can only put uh, two, the words together. So smartwatch, there can't be any spaces in this. So we're gonna put a GPS. Now this is gonna get naturally get us a little bit more traffic. So it's nothing major, but that's it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click publish now and uh, it's all live. So we're gonna click on this link. As you can see, sometimes, um, sometimes we have this right here. Um, it, look at all of our page, it's not even loaded yet. So we're gonna refresh this. For whatever reason, it only uploaded two seconds of our video. That's okay, let's not worry about that. We might have to do this again because we didn't upload the whole video for some reason. Um, so we'll look at that in just a moment. And I think I pretty much know why, uh, because when we did the, 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 the piece in the beginning, but we're just gonna kind of see if we can rank on a two second video, okay? So again, I screwed this all up, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this up here and we're gonna click search. And you can see that we're the number two video instantly. Now, here's what's interesting about this. Now you may think, well, I failed, right? Did I? Because within a couple of seconds, what will happen is that um, within a couple of minutes, we'll probably be ranked number one. And um, here's why, because when we first upload a video, we're actually at the lowest spot ever. Meaning that right now, when we look at this, um, our video shows no views. Even though if I click on this, it actually says I have one view. So our video has no views. So what's gonna happen is Google's actually gonna update this over the course of the next 20, 30 minutes or so. And that one view, once it registers inside of Google, will actually be number one. Now again, the other part that uh, we had going against us was that I uploaded uh, only a portion of the video. Now, one of the things that I first do is I copy this uh, let's see it refresh on this. And in order to increase our pace sometimes, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this video and we're going to go into a new uh, incognito window. Window. So we're going to go into new incognito window. I'm going to paste this URL into a new incognito window to make it appears like I'm not actually logged into this one. 
And what that does, just by doing this once or twice, it allows us to get uh, what I would call an artificial, uh, an artificial view. Now, by doing this artificial view, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to see if we can actually get a little bit better ranking on this uh, a little bit faster. So that's, that's all we have to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the video once or twice. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back here, grab that keyword phrase. And we're going to search over here. So again, we're fine. Okay. Now the question is, uh, is, this, is this valid still? And, uh, and again, it's still valid. It's good. There's nothing wrong with this. But again, uh, it's going to move up. Now, this is going to be the worst spot it's ever going to be in. So we're number two. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, considering it's a three second video. Now, the question is, is did Google rank us yet? And the reason why I question did Google rank us yet, and uh, whatever this, this compu particular computer, we're, um, we're going to go back over to here. And I just want to copy this. This computer, the reason I say that is because this computer is actually utilizing another search engine for whatever reason. So we're just going to go, let's try that again. There we go. So the reason why I ask, did Google rank us yet is because what happens is Google, um, when we look at this, you'll notice that Google may or may not have ranked us yet. So you can see that we're not indexed in, in Google yet. Now, what will happen is because we're not indexed in Google yet, we should actually be, because we're the number two spot, we'll actually be on the first page of Google. Now, this could happen in a couple seconds. This could happen uh, a little bit longer, um, depending how it is. But what this will do is that should get us on the first page of Google in that middle video once this is actually indexed by Google. So does that make sense to everyone? Yes? So. Again, what we did is we created a quick video. I even screwed up the video. Now, the reason why me screwing up that video and only uploading three seconds matters is because what Google does to every one of your videos is Google actually uh, changes your video a little bit. And what it does is it actually translates your video. Uh, and what I mean by translate, it actually does the transcript of your video. So when we look at the video over here, we can actually see the uh, in end screen enhancements, the annotations, um, says this video is too short. So we can't actually add anything or enhance this particular video. Um, and the reason why it won't let us do that is because the video is only three seconds long. So let's just see if it, uh, on the subtitles, it says automatic. Um, automatic right here, right? So it says, hi, my name is Armin Moine. Thank you so much. And that was it. Now, when we look at that, Google translated my, uh, my video, okay? It translated me. Um, in other words, what I said. So that actually has to do with our ranking. So in this case, because I only uploaded three seconds, what happened? It actually never got to actually hear when I said the actual keyword phrase in that mini video. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do it again. So we, we kind of failed, right? And in one way, but we're still pretty good. I'm still pretty happy with what transpired uh, on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and uh, we're just going to see if Google indexed us yet. That's going to be the first piece. So we're not indexed by Google yet. And uh, on, on uh, YouTube, we're just going to see if we ranked in YouTube, uh, if our rankings had changed. We're still number two. Uh, I'm still pretty happy. I'm actually still very happy with what we've done so far. Uh, so does that make sense to everyone so far? Did we do something kind of cool? Yes or yes? Yeah. yes. I think so, yeah. So uh, again, uh, now here's another one. It says, do kids. Okay, this is the, the other, it says, do the kids one. So, okay, so let's redo this. Okay, so let's take it and let's change the keyword phrase. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact page, except what we're going to do is we're going to change this uh, and actually to order to do the kids one. And we're going to say kids, GPS, tracker, smartwatch. Okay. So uh, again, we uh, look at this and we, we kind of know this over here. So if we change out the keywords, right? So let's just, again, prove to you just for a moment. Kids, GPS, tracker, smartwatch. 
Um, it's right there, okay? So it's Kids GPS Tracker Smartwatch. And um, we're gonna do that, hold on just a second. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one. You can see we're not ranked in this any, in any way, shape or form. Now, the question I always have is, did we rank for other keywords by accident? So if I just type in GPS smart, uh, Tracker Smartwatch, did we rank in here at all? And we did. You can see Seniors GPS Tracker Smartwatch. So we did rank down below one, two, three, four, five, six. We ranked number seven under even for GPS Tracker Smartwatch, which is pretty good for us. But here's the other piece that we did as well, too. Uh, if we did hashtag smartwatch, um, we're actually the number one video there. You can see it's right there. And then we also have uh, under seniors, under hashtag seniors, we're the number one video under seniors right there. You can see it. Uh, and again, if we click on this again, we're under GPS. We're actually the number one video under GPS. So kind of cool, yes? So now let's do this all again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna prove this one more time, okay? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna type in kids uh, GPS tracker smartwatch, okay? Now, again, we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna do it anyway, okay? So let's, let's see what happens here. And I'm going to uh, do the exact same thing, no difference. So we're going to uh, delete this video, uh, delete that one. We'll actually just start a new project. How's that? That'll probably be easiest. So again, we're just using Camtasia, nothing major. I'm going to hit record on Camtasia and we're gonna record this particular page uh, and then we're gonna go from there. So you guys ready? Here we go. Thank you so much for finding out more information about our kids GPS tracker smartwatch. If you wanna find out about the best kids GPS tracker smartwatch, then what I need you to do is simply click the link under this video to find out about the best kids GPS tracker smartwatch. So don't wait, go there right now. We've sold 23 in the last 24 hours and you can get yours today. So again, to find out more information about the kids GPS tracker smartwatch, click the link underneath this video right now. I think I'm getting better. I'm getting better at these videos. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come down through here. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lower the volume on this a little bit. And uh, it just sees that I'm, I'm, my mic is recording just a little too hot today. So we're just gonna take that. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this video. Uh, we're gonna share it as, uh, the, as a local file. And we're gonna name it again, kids-gps tracker dash smart dash watch okay so again we export it just like we did before only takes a couple seconds this time we're actually uploading the whole video which is going to be a whole lot better so it's got about 16 17 20 seconds or so uh that's happening there so let's uh let's switch back over just for a second while that's completing so again, first of all, number one, did you guys see me do anything that is out of the ordinary, that is crazy, that required special software in any way, shape, or form? The answer is no. There was nothing, nothing up my sleeves in any way, shape, or form, right? But at the same time, we were able to rank a video number two on YouTube. I fully intend that this video is going to be ranked number one on YouTube, probably within sometime between, tw I'll say 20 minutes to as much as three hours will probably be ranked number one. And the reason I know that for a fact, if I am ranked anywhere in the top five of YouTube, my video will naturally be at the number one spot. Uh, over the course of just a few short hours, okay? When the, the video views turns into an actual number, because we know we have a couple of views on our video already, then we'll uh, actually move up one spot. Second piece is that once Google actually indexes, uh, our video will actually be on the first page of Google for this video as well too. Sometimes it happens faster than others. Sometimes the Google gods smile down upon you. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do this again. Again, I think we just transferred over so we're gonna go over here and we're going to uh, switch over to our screen and um, we're gonna upload this uh, again. So let's uh, switch over to this. And uh, so we've got our video, it should have rendered already. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to Google, uh, YouTube I should say, and we're gonna upload this video. 
So we're going to select the video that we want to upload. There it is. And uh, there's the what we're going to copy. We're going to copy this. We're going to get rid of all these things. And I like to make sure that I put my keyword phrases in before the video even finishes uploading. It's just a, a superstition more than anything else. Then what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL that we want to rank for. So we're just going to copy that uh, there. And uh, we're just going to move this down a little bit so we can uh, see it. There it is. And we're going to put a dash. And then there's the link that we want to rank for. If you are looking for a, and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy that for a kid's GPS tracker smartwatch, then watch this video to learn everything there is to know about a kid's GPS tracker smartwatch. Again, same exact phrasing, no difference whatsoever. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here at the bottom into our tags. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our tags. Now, the first tag has all the keywords, kids, GPS, tracker, smartwatch. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the last word. OK, then what we're going to do is we're going to do it again. Now we're going to remove the last what? The last two words. So now we're down to kids, GPS, tracker. The next one should be what? Kids, GPS. And then we're going to do the reverse process. OK, so we're going to go from here. And we're going to put GPS tracker smartwatch. OK, and then we're going to put tracker. I'm just going to type this out. Tracker smartwatch. And then we're going to type in smartwatch. Now we're going to put in each phrase individually, which is kids. GPS comma tracker comma smart comma, watch, comma, okay? Now up here, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna put in some phrases like, um, we'll put in like a hashtag of kids, uh, GPS. Uh, we'll put in a hashtag of smartwatch. And we'll put in a hashtag of uh, GPS tracker. Okay, I believe those actually work. Now, I'm just gonna throw in one other piece. Sometimes what I'll do, and it's purely, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's purely just for superstition, is I'll like put this all, I'll take the keyword phrase I'm trying to rank for and I'll push it way down to the bottom like this where no one will ever going to see it and I'll just paste it down there. And, the, and again, it's just one of those instinct, you know, instinct things. I'm, I'm half Filipino. So Filipinos are very superstitious. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of keep it down there. And then what we're going to do is we're simply going to click publish. Now, sometimes it publishes so fast that it just doesn't have the opportunity to display everything. Uh, but right now, it published very good. So I'm really happy with how fast it published. So we've got our, our kids GPS tracker smartwatch. Uh, we've got our, uh, our, our links. Everything looks good, right? Now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. We're going to copy that keyword phrase that we that we have and we're going to give it a second many times so let's take this and before we even go over here and even check it let's open up a new incognito window and we're going to just give it a view okay so so now you can see we've got one view down at the bottom of the page okay you can see right there it says one view so that kind of helps me i always feel that helps me get kind of indexed Sometimes what I'll even do is I'll actually open up another browser, like here's a Safari browser. And what I'll do is I'll take the Safari browser and I'll just paste that into that as well too. Uh, nothing special. And then that will actually give me uh, two views as well. So what we're gonna do is we've got everything there. Now we've got, we've looked that up in an incognito window. We've looked it up in a Safari browser. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna search for it. Kids, GPS, tracker smartwatch and then see what happens and we rank number three right off the bat so is that within my realm of error yes i said if we ranked in the top five we should move up into the top top position and i'm pretty happy about that let me just get rid of this bouncing out of here so i'm pretty happy with that so far so let's uh, just hit search again 
but again, it says no views. So that's okay if it has no views because it's not ranked totally yet. Now, here's the thing. I just searched again, just in a quick second. Look what just happened. My, my video went away. Now, this is where people start freaking out and they start thinking, oh my God, man, I can't believe it. It just disappeared. This thing doesn't work. Don't worry about that. That is okay. It perfectly, it's perfectly fine. Over the course of the next hour or so, it will bounce in, it will bounce out, it will bounce in, it will bounce out. If we refresh this enough times, it will actually just do the exact same thing and just come in and it will come out. So that's actually a good thing when it starts bouncing in and bouncing out. It just means that Google is actually updating. It means that we caught Google or YouTube in the middle of an actual update. And so when it bounces out, no problem. Because remember, YouTube actually has multiple different servers. So when you update one server, what has to happen, it has to propagate to all the other servers that YouTube actually has. So don't overthink this just because it bounced in and then it bounced out. It, because look, if we scroll down the page, you can see that we're not down below. So it didn't push it. Actually, in this particular case, it did push it down there, down here, right here. Right. So that's where it's showing there. Don't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. Right. So it didn't push it anything. We're just going to leave it alone. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up to where we need to be. Now, I'm not concerned about that because if we look at all the other videos for this, um, you can see that there's only one video that actually is exactly the way that we want, which is this first video, which is kids smartwatch GPS tracker. That's not exactly the keyword phrase that we had, but it's pretty close. So if we click search for this, right, um, what we're going to do is we're going to search in Google on this. And again, uh, I have to actually do this by hand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just go to Google. Uh, then we're going to go to Google again. Uh, let's try this again. Google, they just keep on messing with me today. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to, we're now finally in Google. We're going to type in kids, GPS tracker, smartwatch. And guess what? First page in Google. Thank you very much. Um, I am right there on the first page of Google. Uh, with no tricks, anything whatsoever, nothing up my sleeve, and I am very, very happy. And this is what happens. Now think about this. Think of what we just did. I created a crappy video. I created a, a crappy video on this, and I, I hit the first page of Google within just a couple seconds, and, um, and we're ranked right there. So again, uh, are you going to leave it up? No, I'm not going to leave it up. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of it in a little while. But I'll leave it up for a few days for you. Uh, so the question that, that Armin has, beautiful name, by the way, uh, he says, are you going to leave it up? Probably not going to leave it up, but I'll leave it up for a few days for you. Um, but it says uh, it's right there. So it's right on the front page. So is that pretty cool or is that pretty cool? Yes. So if everyone's watching this right now, again, what we did is we did something pretty amazing. We created this simple video. Um, I just recorded the screenshot. That's all I did. Nothing special uh, in any way, shape, shape or form. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to, let me just switch back over here. Let's just hit stop sharing okay. this. So uh, again, what we can do is think of, think of what I just did for a moment is I, I created a video. I just went to a website. Uh, a product wasn't even mine. I didn't know anything about the product. I created a video with Camtasia. And then what I did is I recorded that video, uploaded it to YouTube in a matter of less than five minutes. Um, I then just pushed it out there. Um, oddly enough, I had everything go worse for me this time that I went to show you the video and the video disappears on me. Worst case scenario. But again, keep this in mind. Why are you making a video for YouTube? The reason why you're making a video for YouTube is not for YouTube. The reason why you're making a video for YouTube is actually for what? Google, that's the reason why we're making the video. We, we could care less if we rank in YouTube. What we wanna get is we wanna get our video over to Google. And that's the beautiful part about this. Now, the question that people have asked me all the time is how long do they last? Well, the, uh, I'm gonna tell you this, the very first video that I did this with was May, uh, May 29th, I believe, of uh, 2006. Uh, so 2006, now that video finally budged from that place about three months ago. So it lasted six <coughs> years in that spot with other people making videos just like it. But at this particular point, it took six years for that video to be moved from the front page of Google. 
So will this video last as long? I don't know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this is that it's something that anyone can do. It's something that you can do for every single one of your products. And does it take a little work? Yes. Is it complicated? The answer is actually no uh, at all. And uh, again, it's, it's very, very simple. So Gianni, I don't know if you're watching this right now. Did you see exactly what just happened? Yes. Yes, I saw it. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yes, yes. People say, wow. So my question is, <laughs> so the excuse that most people say, oh, I don't have money for advertisement. Basically, they can promote anything they want with this strategy. Exactly. I mean, there's, for example, first of all, here's the other part. It didn't cost me a dime to, to actually do this. And it doesn't matter what you use to record it. So we can use anything that we want to record it. Uh, it doesn't have to be Camtasia. It could be any kind of screen recording software. In fact, um, I think it's in, I'm, I'm not sure, but I believe it's in the new Mac OS that there's a little tiny screen recording software that's built into it now, if I'm correct. I could be wrong on that. But uh, I know in Windows, I know there's a small Windows recording software on there. You can find free screen recording software online, but that's it. That's the only thing that you actually need in order to, to do this technique or strategy. Um, and again, it's free. Again, my student, um, he doesn't have just one video. Let me just clarify something on my student. My student actually has 1,500 videos up right now. And uh, he's utilizing that to generate all of his leads for his business that he's doing again over $3 million plus dollars a year with right now just from YouTube, just for lead generation from YouTube. So the strategy works. And what's interesting about it is that I ranked a video for a product that people are actually searching for that this gentleman that I'm sure that we, that is, that just did this, uh, it was so simple. I mean, he had a product that uh, again, this is, a, this is a standard product. This isn't like it's a very specialty product in any way, shape, or form. And it wasn't like we had this massive long tail keyword phrase or anything like that. So this is, again, a, just a great strategy that we have. But let's take it one step further, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys something that we did. And uh, let me just kind of give you guys a little brief history just a little bit. I am... Uh, I am... I guess you'd say uh, an old dude when it comes to the internet, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Meaning that I have been on the internet for a very, very long time. But uh, I've been around since 1996. That's 22 years now that I've been on the internet. But here's what's important about my history for you guys right now. I was actually one of the very first people online to actually use an opt-in page. Now, what does that matter? It means that I've done opt-in pages longer than almost anyone else has on the internet. And I've figured out some things that we can do with opt-in pages to generate a massive amount of leads, no matter for what. So even if you guys are doing e-commerce, and I know a lot of people here are doing e-commerce, imagine having an opt-in page for every single one of your e-commerce products, but various terms for that e-commerce product. Meaning that even though we did kids, seniors, GPS, smart, uh, smartwatch, uh, tracker, smartwatch, there's probably other variations of that keyword phrase, right? Well, what if we could make a video and what if we could make an opt-in page and what if we could make these opt-in pages in mass? That was the question that I had. And the bigger question is, could we generate a list of people and could we do it um, massively? Could we do it in, in, in bulk? In other words, does that make sense to everyone? Yes. So could we do this in bulk? And what I discovered is that we can, we can do this in bulk. And I want to share with you just one simple strategy right now. Uh, and the reason I want to share with you guys this is because this is probably one of the most powerful strategies that I have. I came up with this idea uh, a couple of years ago, and I called it I, the strategy 30X. Now, again, I want to share with you guys this 30X strategy, and it revolves around creating several opt-in pages for a particular product. So let's just think about this. If I want to rank number one for uh, seniors, GPS tracker, smartwatch, I would make an opt-in page that says seniors GPS smart uh, tracker smartwatch. And I would just make that whole keyword phrase as part of that one opt-in page. And then I would upload that opt-in page and eventually Google will index that page. And if I did everything right, um, then Google's gonna index that page for me. Fair enough. So now if I want to rank for kids, uh, GPS tracker smartwatch, I would make a separate page just like we did for a video. Uh, and I would upload that page. Again, would have a video and an opt-in box. Okay, again, I'm be generating leads. A person would opt in, and then they would actually go to my 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 e-commerce page for selling that particular product. In other words, I'm making a set of opt-in pages for each one of my products out there. Now, 
The problem is, is that in doing an opt-in page, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes a long time to rank those pages, and we have to optimize, we have to SEO optimize every single one of those pages. And so the question that I always have is not, is not that's impossible. The question I have is, what if? What if I could actually do it? So what we did is we actually did do that. Um, we figured out a way that we could optimize these pages. Now, first of all, the first method is you can do this by hand. I did this for hand, by hand years and years and years. Uh, but I just want to show you something new that we're doing um, that uh, will kind of give you an idea of how to do this. Now, this happens to be a site. I use this for my, all my testing. So there's, this site is just like a, a, a mishmash of all kinds of different uh, things. And I'm going to switch over to this page so you guys can actually see it. So let's uh, just share this, I'm share my screen again for you guys. Um, oops, wrong, let's try that again. Uh, let's share this page, okay? Okay, so here it is, uh, here's our page. We're gonna log into this on the back end. And what we're gonna do is we're going to log into this uh, back end on here. That might take a second. Again, this is like this is like my test site. So I, I don't really go into this. We'll probably need some updates and things of that nature. But it's going to be great for us to actually kind of give you guys an idea of how to do this. And I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I want to show you what it is. Now, again, the concept is making opt-in pages. So what I did is I created this plugin called uh, 30X Pages. And, and uh, you know, I'm not here to tell you to 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 to, to, to go over this plugin a lot, but I just want to show you what what we did. Now you can do this all by hand, but I'm gonna show you how to do this in mass, okay? So let's, uh, let's just look at this for a second. Uh, what I did is I created this place or this strategy, this way that we could actually, and maybe we can come back, we can talk about this a little bit more, um, where we can actually take a video um, and we can upload. Now, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this vi a video and let, let's just take a video that we just created, okay? And I'm just going to take uh, I'm going to take uh, the video that we just created over here, and hold on. Let's go back to find that video. I have to go. I, I refresh so many times. There it is. Thank you so much for finding. So there's a video. So I'm just going to say I'm going to make the assumption that this was a generic video. Okay. Uh, because I just need a video to make this work. So I'm just going to paste this video for YouTube right there. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get some uh, keywords. Uh, in order to, to do this, we need to have various keyword phrases. Now, um, on this particular computer, I don't have my login to get the keywords that I need. But what we're going to do is we're going to, we, we're, we're, I'm going to tell you what we did, is I put in a logo, I put in this phrase, this keyword here, okay? And then what I did was I put in a video that was about a smartwatch. I'd probably want to make this video a little bit more generic. And then what I did is I put in get full details now, fill in your first name, your email address to get full details right now. Don't wait on this. And then I put in my opt-in form in this little box right here. And then I put in this little button that says click here now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click save that. Now, what, uh, again, that you have to always have to think of is not how or what, it's what if. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make up some keyword phrases for you guys right now, which is if we look at the original keyword phrase that we wanted to rank for, it was kids GPS smart, uh, 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 smartwatch, right? So we're going to paste that in. So what if I wanted to rank for every one of these variations of this, just like we, we did before, right? Um, or what if I just wanted to rank for GPS smartwatch, right? If I wanted to rank for that. Um, or senior, right, GPS smartwatch. So what we can do is, uh, let's just see if we can log in. Maybe, maybe we can log in on this. Let's just try to go to Google AdWords. Um, usually I use a different computer, but we're gonna try to get in on this one. Uh, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools at the top of the page, and I'm going to click on keyword planner. 
And I'm going to type in the words GPS smartwatch. That's all I'm going to do. GPS smartwatch. So this happens to be like an old account that I, I don't really use anymore. So um, what we have is it generated for us 970 keyword ideas. Uh, some of these are Garmin running smartwatch, Garmin smartwatch, variations of this. So we could actually utilize every keyword phrase that we have here. Um, this is broadly related keyword ideas. We want closely related keyword ideas. So that brought it down to all the different variations of smartwatch, which is 14 uh, keywords that actually have the words GPS smartwatch in it. So let's, uh, let's change this again a little bit. And let's change this to just smartwatch. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want to narrow it down to broaden our, our keywords. We have 203 keyword phrases that all have the word smartwatch in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download these keywords. Okay. I want all 203. So we're going to download that to my computer. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're, we're going to open it and see if we can uh, see if we can open it. Uh, let's just uh, no start using Excel. Okay, so I'm going to copy these keyword phrases. Okay, so there's 200 and I believe uh, three different keyword phrases. So we're going to copy all of these. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to this little setup that I have here, right? And I'm going to paste all those keywords. So there's 209 keyword phrases there, right? Now watch what happens. I'm going to click build pages. What I did is I built all these pages that were all 100% SEO optimizes for these keyword phrases. So if we look at this now and um, what we just did, and uh, I think I have an older version of the software because I, know, I think it's going to come out a little wide if I'm correct, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, we actually created a page for every one of those keyword phrases. And, but more importantly, we SEO optimize this as well too on the SEO title, the tags, everything that has to do with this regarding the Yoast SEO plugin. And we created all these different pages that were all optimized. We created 209 pages, uh, 206, I'm sorry, 203 pages in just a couple short seconds that allows us to rank these. And then all we need to do is submit these uh, in. So if we looked at the keyword phrase, on every single one of these, um, you can see that we did this iPhone smartwatch sale, uh, Samsung smartwatch, smartwatch cell phone. And we looked at this one as well too. So all of these, uh, the title is smartwatch or smartwatch. On this one, it's iPhone smartwatch for sale, the title, the tag, the description. And it's just the same description that we did before. It's the exact same strategy. So if we did, if you are looking for a smartwatch uh, iPhone, then click here to learn everything you need to know about smartwatch smart iPhone. Um, and it says, if you're looking again, it puts in the title tag, which is the OG tag, the Twitter tag, the description, the title of the page. Everything is 100% optimized for this one keyword phrase on each one of these pages. And it's going to rank extremely high up all across the board. And then every one of these are actually going to go towards um, our actual opt-in page, uh, which means it goes to go, go to a list, which means we're going to build a list of people that are interested in this particular product, depending upon your, um, your autoresponder. Uh, because what we did is we programmed this to automatically bypass the thank you page and actually go to wherever you'd like people to actually go to. So kind of cool. Yes. Now what's the lesson here? Let's switch back to me for a moment. So what's the lesson? I know I showed you that and I showed you that really, really quick. Okay. But here's the thing. The lesson is this, is that I actually, um, I did this by hand. I was doing, I've been doing this by hand for years and years and years where I actually went ahead and I made these landing pages and the secret really is this, instead of making pages one at a time, make these pages in mass, you can outsource this. You can have other people do it. Um, you can actually do a number of different things, but it's making highly optimized opt-in pages because an opt-in page or a landing page can only be optimized for one keyword phrase at a time. That's the key. That's the secret. So 
Uh, unlike a lot of people, I actually have massive numbers of opt-in pages. The average student that I have has two to 3,000, some of them up to five or 10,000 opt-in pages that are out there for various products, services, or things that they offer that they sell on the internet. And the reason is, is because we can highly optimize a single page for one keyword phrase. Does that make sense? Now, what does this have to do with you? Imagine this, and I want you to start thinking in this direction. Some of you have, for example, the page that, the site that we went to earlier, that particular individual, what they did is they have uh, an e-commerce store selling a lot of different products. I don't know how many products, but it looked like a lot, okay? So now what we can do is we can go to those pages, make an opt-in page for each single one of these, and then what happens is we actually build a list. So an opt-in page or a page or a landing page is not just designed just to sell your product. Think about putting a filter on the front of it as well, not affecting your e-commerce sales because if people are interested in what you have, you wanna send them directly to that page. Does that make sense? But what we want to do is we want to uh, actually go ahead and we wanna make individual pages for these other products and services. So now we have Google over here ranking all these different pages, building a list, using a follow-up system in order to follow up with people, and then redirecting that traffic to our e-commerce store. It's the best of both worlds. And we're building a list of, if you wanna call them prospects, rather than customers and prospects first, and then sending them over to the other side. And that's what this is all about. So if you start thinking, the, the, here's the advantage that I've had over the years is that instead of thinking in one, where most marketers, even to this very day, think of in terms of one, uh, I want you that are watching this right now to start thinking in terms of 10, in terms of 100, in terms of 300, in terms of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. I don't want you to think in terms of one page. I want you to start thinking in terms of small micro advertisements that are specific towards one keyword phrase and therefore you're able to dominate and kick, basically kick the biggest sites in the world out of there. By doing techniques like I shared with you guys today, what can happen is that you can actually optimize your website for uh, so many different keyword phrases, but at the same time, you'll actually be able to beat Amazon. You'll be able to beat some of the biggest e-commerce sites because those pages are diluted with other keyword phrases that are on them. If we shorten our pages down a little bit in some ways by utilizing some basic SEO strategy, what we can do is we can highly focus our e-commerce pages even to rank uh, above and beyond Amazon. There's no doubt. Because if you really truly look now, I've spent actually time, I'm a geek. I am, I'm a total geek. I've actually spent the time analyzing Amazon's SEO structure. It's not good. In fact, it's almost non-existent. So therefore with just a little bit of SEO on your e-commerce site, guess what? You can outrank actual Amazon on a head to head battle every day of the week and it will work. Now they have authority, but what we need is we need to be able to do this. So again, some crazy things happening uh, on this. So uh, again, Gianni, is that kind of cool or kind of cool? Yes. That was amazing, man. Amazing. <laughs> so, but here's the thing. Uh, I want to invite all of you guys right here. There's a lot of you watching us right now from various places, from Facebook to directly here on the webinar. And Gianni was kind enough to actually invite me on uh, because of our close friend, Gareth. Um, and uh, here's the thing. Gareth is speaking at my event. It's called Complete Seminar. And right now we're, we're selling tickets on it. And I just want to walk you through guys through this real quick. And let me just show you how this actually works. We're going to go over to our website and uh, let's just, just look at this for a moment. We're going to go to Complete Seminar. Uh, and But it's a special URL completeseminar.com slash special. Now I need you to understand one thing is that this is a very special deal that I'm doing because of Gianni and without him, uh, you guys would have to pay full boat. On our main page right now, we're selling tickets for 250 being the lowest price up to as much as $997, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know. Now on this event, it's actually happening October 19th, 20th and 21st in Las Vegas, where uh, first of all, I want you to come out. I want you to meet me, but also on top of that, we're giving everyone watching this video right now a free ticket to actually come. So you don't have to pay anything to actually go there. You just have to pay your way to get there. So now here's the secret though. In order to get your free ticket, what you need to do is right here, you need to put Gianni. 
One in. One you need in. to put his name right there in that guest of field. If you don't put his name in that field, then you're not going to get a free ticket. Okay. Is that very important for everyone? Yes. Yes. So let me uh, just kind of mute this out in the background. But again, you put in your name, your email address, your guest of Gianni. That's where it's got to go right there. And your phone number. That's it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get your free ticket to actually come to this event. But now here's the thing. Who's coming? These are just some of the people that are coming to watch. These aren't people even speaking right now. So Mike Philsame's coming. Also, John Cornetta's coming uh, as well, too. Uh, they're actually coming to my event. Um, and they're in the audience, just like you guys. Alicia Little, Lorette Little, David Hancock, who owns Morgan James Publishing, uh, Gail Kingsbury. She's like the networker of the stars, if you will. She has introduced me to so many different people uh, over the years. Robbie LeBlanc, Paul Culligan, Michael Penland, JJ Childers, Carl Galetti, Rick Raditz, uh, Mike Stewart, and a bunch of other people uh, that we have. Declan Dunn, who's a legendary marketer, uh, coming. We just got news from Kurt Christensen, who makes millions of dollars a year. I'm also giving away a cruise. I'm giving away a cruise to someone in the audience. And it's not just any cruise. It's actually a seven day cruise with me in the Caribbean for seven days you're gonna hang out with me on vacation with me, my family, my millionaire students. They're actually coming on this cruise. And you guys, someone, someone, somebody, uh, hopefully will win and I'm paying your way to come on this cruise with me. All you have to do is actually get to where we ever take off. So it's gonna be kind of awesome. Uh, but we're gonna be on the Allure of the Seas. That's the actual ship that we're actually gonna be on. Uh, but on top of that, we have some several different people coming. Number one, uh, Shannon Miller. If you guys don't know who she is, uh, someone that I know that she's a seven-time uh, Olympic medalist. She's on the U.S. Olympic team in 1996. She was on the Magnificent Seven, which is one of the most legendary Olympic teams for gymnastics in the history of the world. And uh, she actually holds more, uh, gold, more Olympic medals than anyone else in U.S. history, even Simone Biles, believe it or not. So I have Shannon Miller actually coming speaking. Uh, a legendary Olympic gymnast. We have myself uh, that's going to be speaking with you guys, teaching you my seven-figure framework, how to go from zero to over a million dollars in income in a short period of time. We have Coach Ken Carter. Um, the, there's a movie. It's a classic movie. It's actually right here. Uh, it's played by uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He was actually played by him in the movie. Uh, he did some extraordinary things in his life and in his community. And I invited him to speak at my event, and he said yes. And he's going to be there teaching you guys uh, how to break through and get beyond those mental barriers that you actually have. But we also have some well-known people that some of you guys probably follow, maybe online, people like Mari Smith. Facebook actually hires her to travel around the world, actually teaching people, well, about Facebook. Uh, John Lee uh, is a friend of mine. Uh, he has seminars every month. He's taking his company public over the course of the next uh, 60 days or so. And he's actually going to be teaching people how to generate over $10,000 a month just on social media. Forget everything else, just social media. He actually adds between 30 to 40,000 uh, members a day, to, uh, a week, I saw, I'm sorry, to his Facebook account, uh, all on social media. He has over 400. Now, he actually just hit 500,000 people on Instagram. So it's really kind of cool. Uh, Vincent Tan. Oh, okay, so this is one you guys need to look at. Okay, so Vince is a friend of mine from Malaysia. Now, if you guys are running e-commerce stores, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you need to buy inventory. But the question is, how do you get the money, right? Sometimes you might want to do a big project. You might want to pump a boatload of money into something. Well, Vince Tan is an expert at business finance, except he's doing business financing a lot different than everyone else does. He can actually get you financed on such things just as an idea or whatever it is that you're doing. He has students literally within 24 hours getting business financing for almost anything that you can have because he's doing it entirely different. It's not the way that people do it in the US. It's entirely different. And that's why I asked them to come to this event. Uh, speaking of e-commerce, we have amazing.com. His name's Jason Katzenbach. Uh, Jason and Matt actually uh, have done amazing.com. They've, they've trained a bunch of people on Amazon and a very specific method that they have. It's always really interesting to hear what Jason has to say. But we also have a friend of mine, Laura Langmeyer, one of the legendary women uh, in the world of marketing. And what she's teaching people now is not only what to do with your money, but how to keep your money. Because let's face it, some of you guys might be doing some very big, massive volume when it comes to your, your sales. But the question is, if you have to pay all of it to the government because of taxes and everything else, then you didn't really make that money, did you? What you did is you just had it pass through you. So Laurel's there for one reason only, to teach you how to keep more of that money. Uh, and it's very, very important. But then we have a friend of mine, Matt Basic. Matt Basic 
I've known him for a long time. He's taken a lot of my products, a lot of my courses, come to my, a lot of my seminars, but he's doing some incredible things right now in the world of email marketing. He's going to show you some new legendary things. And plus, I didn't even add, have a chance to add him to this page yet. We have Gareth. Again, uh, Gareth is one of my closest friends. I've known him uh, for so long. Uh, and he's going to be teaching you exactly what he's been doing. Uh, some of you know some of the things that he's been doing with product ads and things of that nature on Google. Uh, it's incredible to see what he's done, what he's done with the companies that he's worked with, some of the top companies in the UK, as well as his own company here in the US. They've done things that you would have thought were impossible. I would have thought were impossible. Um, and I you know, absolutely love seeing exactly all the new things that he's working on. Uh, but he's going to be teaching there, you there as well, too. But also on top of this, we have our networking party. We have a party on Friday night. We have a party on Saturday night. I'm actually even giving away someone $25,000 at this event. It's going to be crazy. We have our networking party on Saturday night. We're going to be doing some crazy things. It's going to be held at the Golden Nugget Casino. I wanted something special, something different uh, that's going to be there. But all you have to do to get your ticket is actually come to this page. Type in the word Gianni right here under the guest of field. And that's going to get you your free ticket to come. Now, I encourage you guys to actually come out to this event. And, and here's the reason why. Number one, you know, in the last 22 years, my companies have generated over $200 million in sales. Um, and as a result of that, um, I learned a lot of things that have helped me to break through and to think bigger. Because the problem that many of you have right now is that you're not thinking big enough when it comes to the world of marketing. It's, it's the world's the possibility, I'm telling you. I've seen it, I've experienced it, and you can see it too. But here's the thing that you want to understand about this, is that sometimes... The times where you are in building your own business, it's a lonely business. Uh, in other words, sometimes your family thinks you're crazy. They think you're crazy for doing this. Sometimes uh, your, uh, you know, your spouse doesn't understand exactly what you're doing. Your kids don't understand what you're doing. Your parents or your, your significant other, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whomever. The reality is, is that people think you're nuts sometimes for trying to do this business that you want to do. And what you need sometimes is you need that pick-me-up. You need to get around people that are like-minded, just like you. You need to get around people that believe and know for sure the opportunity that's in front of them. If you would have told me 22 years ago that my businesses would have done what they've done today, I'm not sure if I'd believe you or not. But slowly, slowly, and slowly, I started building up this business and I just started growing and growing and growing. And if it wasn't for live events, if it wasn't for hanging out with the right people, if it wasn't for networking, I, I wouldn't be here today because the friends that I have, the closest friends that I have are the people that I met at seminars. Gareth, as an example, Gareth is, I think I met him at the very first time I ever went to the UK. And um, he was actually in the audience, probably just like many of you guys. Uh, we got to know each other. Uh, I wanted to know him more when I found out he owned a pub in the UK, in London. Um, and then what happened, we became really close friends at that point. But uh, he had a pub in London at the time. And we got to know each other. And the more we got to know each other, um, you know, his business started you know, growing and doing different things. He eventually got out of the pub, eventually moved to the US. But we knew each other from a live event. Every time I went back there, I got a chance to see him again. And we went to another live event. He helped me put on uh, and sell my products at uh, in, in London, uh, I spoke at the O2. He, he helped me do those things because we're, we're friends, right? We broke through that barrier of just a, a student to a teacher. Uh, and that was, that was huge. That was huge for us. But at the same time, it was a live event that actually changed everything. A live event at every point in my career changed things for me. It allowed me to grow. Imagine meeting one person at a live event that changes your business forever. It could be one of the speakers on the stage. But then again, it could be someone in the audience. Or it could be Gianni, as an example. So those of you that know Gianni, uh, the fact is, is by getting to know him more, you get the chance to learn more from him. He's coming to my event. He's coming out to Las Vegas. We're going to hang out together out there. And I want you guys to come out there too. So imagine spending three days out in Las Vegas. First of all, you probably need the vacation. Second of all, you get a chance to hang out with Gianni. You get a chance to hang out with Gareth. You get a hang chance to hang out with myself. And you get a chance to meet all these great people that are actually going to be there. And these people are moving and going in their business. And the reason I can say that is because they're doing the exact same thing that you are. They're leaving home. They're getting away. There's, they want to spend time around like-minded people. These are the people that you need to know. These are the people that you need to get to hang around. But also than that, 
Also, the friends that I have coming, these legendary marketers like Mike Vilsain, like John Cornetta, like Mike Stewart, like Declan Dunn, and many other people that are going to be there have generated millions, some of them hundreds of millions. Some of the people that I have actually there that you don't even know yet have generated hundreds of millions of dollars, and you never know who exactly you're going to meet. But through the networking that we have that I'm facilitating, you're going to be able to get that around you. You're going to be able to, to feel that power. And more importantly, you'll be able to get to meet these people. That's the key for this. But here again, I'm offering you a rare opportunity. And that is you get a chance to come and come on my dime. All you have to do is actually come here, register your seat, reserve your hotel room, do it quick. Because I can right now, people are having a hard time getting a hotel room at the Golden Nugget because we're filling up that fast. So don't wait on this. Go ahead and get your seat today. Gianni, any last minute words for anybody? Well, man, we're going to have a lot of fun there. You know, even if we have to all get a room and sleep all together, just get there. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what we can do. We can, get, we can get bunk beds. We can get a, a room with bunk beds in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and that's the thing. Sometimes you got to do whatever it takes. You know, you know, you have to do whatever it takes. I, I remember and so many times in my life, I had to get there. I had to be there. I was so pumped up about something. I remember times in my life where I literally walked 10 and 15 miles to get to where I needed to go. Why? Because there was no turning back. There was no thinking about maybe if I could, I wish I could. No. I had to be there. So what did I do? I did everything in my power in order to get me to where I needed to be. If you treat your business like that, I promise you, within the next two to five years, you will hit that million dollar business. You will become that multimillionaire and you will do the things that you've always dreamed of. And it's much closer than what you possibly imagined. You know, people always ask me, how long did it take you to make your first million dollars? And I'm going to tell you right now, not as long as you guys think. <laughs> I made my first million dollars in three weeks. That's how long it took me. I did $4.2 million in the first 12 weeks. Think about that just for one second, right? And this is when we didn't have the things that are around us today. The possibilities are even greater today than it was when I got started. But now you have something else. You have this idea of networking. And networking online on Facebook and in social media, that's fantastic and you should do those things. But you need to get around and you need to create those face-to-face -face relationships with people like Gianni, people like Gareth, people like myself, and the people that you're going to meet at this event. So don't wait on this. Go ahead. Again, this is a very special URL. Again, literally, it's completeseminar.com slash special. And then uh, put in the word Gianni in the guest of field, and that's going to get you your free ticket to come to this event. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Hopefully... You're, the time that you spent with me this evening was well worth it for you. Hopefully that you picked up on just that one strategy, especially with YouTube. Hopefully you understood some of the things that I was talking about. If you got this part, this is what's happening. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be difficult. And more importantly, you guys can actually do this. I know a lot of you are very successful already. You can even become more successful in what you're doing. So again, my name is Armin Moore, and thank you all very much. Go to completeseminar.com slash special. Gianni, thank you very much for having me on this call. And it was my pleasure to actually be able to teach the people that you know, and hopefully I did a good job for you. You did. Thank you so much, coach. I love it. And I hope people are already writing, already booked. They're excited. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, again, thank you, everybody. And I will talk to everyone soon. And I will see you in Las Vegas at Complete Seminar. Again, that is completeseminar.com slash special. I will see you guys there. Bye-bye, everybody.